<laughs> all right hello everyone and peace of the lord to all of you i hope my voice is getting good and clear please invite your friends and today we are going to have some comedy you know we are in no mean uh, here to debunk uh, so-called Sneeko. This guy is just a kid. And he have a low IQ, obviously. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, Lord have mercy in his creation. Uh, but just to show you what kind of people who convert to Islam, you know, what kind of uh, intelligent intellect and uh, the reasoning, let us say, you know. You know, for me, looking at this person, which I really feel sorry for, and by the way, I mean, he responds to everybody except me. You know, he, he don't even dare to mention me. But I feel that the reason for him he converted to Islam because he is a fan. He is a puppy of Android Tate. Android Tate converted to Islam, he converted to Islam. So otherwise, you can tell this guy, he do not know what Islam is about. He do not know what Christianity is about. He is just a person who keeps saying the F word every two seconds. Street boy, you know, literally a street boy. He grow in the street. He is a street boy. And that's why... He have many people who like him because street boys follow street boys. Uh, and I find it very funny, like, you know, our brother here is a very well-educated, obviously. And it's Nico, you have no idea what he's talking about. But is that is that a fair even to, uh, to, I mean, to to make argument between two? No, this is not fair. Because when, when we are debunking a donkey, I mean, that is not a debunking. That is even hilarious. But I wanted to play this video to show you how and who convert to Islam. They are silly, they are stupid, they are ignorant about everything, about who they are and what they convert to. So we know we will make comment about this and we will see what's going on in this video. Let us watch together. One consistent Bible. And you guys just trust me on this because the longer that the video goes on, the better it gets. It, it really go, does. So this back. video is going to be a little bit longer since we're going to go through Sneeko's entire response together and I'll give my thoughts along the way. So with that out of the way, let's just get into it. Oh, here we go. Right, we can watch this. Sneeko's arguments against Christianity. Popular influencer Sneeko, but they can't say Rumbler. Just say Rumbler. Just say Rumbler. No, 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 no. Okay, fine has been consistently given everyone five reasons for why he recently embraced Islam and why he rejects Christianity. Now, there's a lot of people are saying that he only converted to Islam because Andrew Tate did, but I personally don't know the man's motives and won't jump to any conclusions. However, if he is being sincere in the reasons that he gives, then we should expect for Sneeko to leave Islam and embrace Christianity by the time that he's done watching this video. The reason why is because the five reasons that he gives, if he wants to be consistent, are the very things that should actually cause we got 4K, or is it gonna be laggy? Cause him to reject Islam and instead become a Christian. So, don't believe me? I'll prove it. Let's start okay. with his first reason. Okay. Why I resonate with Islam, why it makes sense for me, because it's weird, it doesn't make sense to me to pray to a man. I don't wanna to submit to a man. The only person that we should submit to and that we should pray to should be the one creator of the universe, which is Allah. You know, here you see the stupid idiot. He forgot that Allah himself, he submit to Muhammad. You see, I know that our Christian brother here, he answer, but he answer as a Christian. But if we go in the Quran, you will see that Allah and his angels and the Muslims, they submit to Muhammad. This idiot, he did not know what Islam is about. Oops, we are typing in English, sorry. Uh, again, my keyboard is switching to English. If you read in the Quran, you will see, it says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيَّ أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا Chapter 33, verse number 56. The Muslim translation, public fabricators, they say that Allah, look, read careful with me. Allah, he sent his salat. Between two brackets, grace, honor, blessing, mercy. No, salat is not, a, uh, is not an honor. 
There's not salat is salat. Salat is a prayer. You ask the Muslim, what what do you say about prayer? They say salat. <laughs> so Allah do salah on Muhammad. So who is the God and who is the follower of God? If Allah Himself supplicate a prayer on Muhammad, Mimi Hijab, when he was debating David Wood, if we can call it a debate, he says, This is why the translation says he pray for not to. Does it make a difference? So Allah He pray for Muhammad, not to Muhammad. So Allah He pray to who? Do he have a higher God? <laughs> In the Bible, Jesus, he prayed to the Father. He is the Son. The Son, he prayed to the Father. The communication between the Son and the Father is a prayer, for it's holy. Now, this is God. Is he praying to the Son, Muhammad? Or Allah, he is praying to his Father? So this idiot, he did not know that his religion say clearly that all prayer, in fact, supplicate and goes to Muhammad, not even to Muslims, to, to Allah. If we go in the hadith, you will see Muhammad saying this. He said that the Friday is the best of the of the days. This is the this is the day the Muslims they gather for prayer. Muhammad he claimed that when the Muslim they make a prayer on Friday their prayer will be supplicated to Muhammad. Do you see it? The Messenger of Allah said, among the best of your days is a Friday. So supplicate Allah more often for me in it. For your supplication will be displayed to me. So who is Muhammad? You are praying to Allah, your prayers go to Muhammad. Plus, why Muhammad needs supplication on him? If Allah in the Quran, as Muslim they say, he already did blessing and honor to him. Do you see the stupidity? Muhammad is a mentally ill person. He have an echo, he you know he worship himself. Uh he prays himself a lot and he wants to be the center of the universe. So now look what happened. Allah, the angels, the Muslims, everybody is doing one thing. Praying on Muhammad. You know, human being supposedly, he should be worried about himself. I mean, you are Muhammad. I mean, your name is the praised one. So if the praised one need your prayer to Allah, what about you, poor Muslim? Why Muhammad is asking you and asking Allah and asking the angels? And actually, he's not asking anybody here. This is Allah supposedly talking. And here you see, by the way, how Allah is the one talking and he says, Allah, he sent his salat. How Allah is talking. I mean, if I'm a Christian prince, why say, and Christian Prince, he sent his supplication. In order to say such a thing, I have to be not Christian Prince. If I am the one who is talking, then I should not mention my name and I should not say Allah sent his salah. In Arabic, by the way, it doesn't say send salah. What send? Are we going to mail it? Mail it to who? I mean, do you see how stupid even the sentence? Focus with me, Muslims. Allah, He sent His Salah. He sent it where? Just to show you how stupid this cult is. If I am God, and now I am going to send the prayer to Muhammad, I will send it where? Any Muslim can tell me? If you are a Muhammadan and you are watching the video later, don't hesitate to leave your comment and tell me Allah sent the prayer to who and where. I mean, it's God.
They try to duct tape the stupid verse, and now this is after the duct tape. Allah, He sent His Salat. Send it where? Uh, to Muhammad. Okay. You, you, uh, there is something you send. I mean, is, is that something physical we send? What do you mean send? And if Allah, He blessed Muhammad, as the translation is saying, which is fake, who need the angels? Allah and the angels, it turned to be. The angels, they can do nothing. They do the same. And also His angel, look, look, look at the first translation. This says, and also his angels ask Allah to bless and forgive him. Oh, where, where it says that? Where in the Arabic it says, and the angels ask Allah to bless him and forgive him. Where it says that? In Arabic, there's no different. It, it, it's right away. Inna Allah wa malaikatu. Allah and his angels praying on Muhammad. You change the translation or a translator, you will find right away a new Quran. This is Hilali and Khan. You see it? This is who? This is Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. This is not a Christian translation. So if we change the translator, we will find different words. Let us see a different one. Uh, let us see Muhammad Arbari. This is a very stupid religion. Look at this. We just changed the translator. A hundred word went missing. Allah and his angels blessed the prophet. Who? So why the other translation is saying, and the angel asked Allah to send his blessing? Do you see? And this is stupid Sneeko, he says, in the beginning of the video, the Christian, they have a thousand version of the Bible. You eat it. This is a translation. <laughs> what version? This is the translation. This is not a new version of the Bible, as a, you know, the way you understand that this is a new Bible. This is a translation. And translation can be good, can be bad, depending on the quality and the qualification of the translator. But we shall not add, and we should not add or take off verses in the translation. Otherwise, the translator. It's a potato. It doesn't matter if he's a Christian or a Jew or a Hindu or a potato. No, translator is translator. If somebody translates in my book, he shall not add, he shall not take off, he shall not add things that are not there, he should not make comment I did not say. His job is just a translator. He's not an author, he is not a writer, he is not making quotation. No, he is just translating. So here you see that this is stupid Abdul, he claimed that why we should pray to a man, but isn't it Jesus? Do we Christian pray to Jesus because he's a man? Is that really why we pray for him, to, to him? Is that the reason? Because he's a man. Well, if this is the reason we pray to him because he's a man, then we should pray for every man. But Jesus is the only unique. Why? For he is God who humbled himself and he came to us as a man. So he's God first before he is a man. This is why we worship Jesus, not because he's a man. However, the stupid Abdul, he forgot that his God, he have all the figures of a man. And this is how ignorant stupid he is. Let us go back to this video. Look, you look, you look like a, I don't know, a skunk when he's talking. You know, skunk, you don't change your name. Don't call yourself a Sneeko. I'm not making fun of his look, by the way. The way he's talking, he's talking like a skunk, you know. I mean, do you even have a brain? You have a brain of a skunk. If he wants to be consistent, are the very things that should actually call...
We got 4K, or is it gonna be laggy? Cause him to reject Islam and instead become a Christian. So, don't believe me? I'll prove it. Let's start okay. with his first reason. Okay. Why I resonate with Islam, why it makes sense for me, because it's weird, it doesn't make sense to me to pray to a man. I don't wanna to submit to a man. Mm -hmm. The only person that we should submit to and that we should pray to should be the one creator of the universe, which is Allah. Same time, you know, I forgot to mention that Muslims, they have to submit to Muhammad. The Quran says, whoever submit to Muhammad, he submit to Allah. This is in the Quran. This donkey, he did not know his book. Muhammad, he replaced Allah. He is Allah on earth. His name is the praised one. Here we go. You, so, you, you, you supplicate. His name is the praised one. And you have to obey him before you obey Allah. In fact, Muslims, they disobey the Quran of Allah and obey Muhammad. What is the excuse? Well, we have to obey the Prophet. And the Prophet, if he says something, he can cancel the word of Allah. This is why we have what is called abrogation of the Quran by hadith so imagine allah he says something muhammad says something which one the muslim follow muhammad they call it abrogation so muhammad have authority to cancel the command of allah and make his command the only valid he created the universe and we love him for it Perfect. That really, it makes the most sense to me. So as you just heard, Sneeko doesn't like the idea of submitting to a man and therefore decided to reject Christianity and to embrace Islam. But unfortunately, there are, there are a lot of reasons. There are a lot of, that wasn't the reason that I reverted to Islam, but that's the reason why Christianity never resonated with me really. If Sneeko really does have a problem with- He just said never. That's good. See, so don't ever say that you're a Christian, you liar. Never resonated with you. So you never been Christian. Did you see what he did? He just confessed his sin, saying the truth. He never was a Christian. So don't lie and say you used to be Christian. You never been Christian. Submit into a man, then he should reject Islam. The reason why is because according to the Quran, Sneko is actually commanded to submit to Muhammad, who's a man. So if this is a real reason for why Sneko, yeah, but you don't you don't pray to Muhammad, peace be upon him. <laughs> so in the original clip, he said that he didn't want to submit or pray to a man, and so I addressed this point about submitting to a man. After I pointed out that the Quran requires you to submit to a man, then he said that the real issue is prayer, which is fine because I had that in mind when I addressed the point about worship. So I think that the same responses could be given in that as well. He should also reject. Islam. But what's even more interesting is the reason that he gives for why he thinks that he should only worship Allah. He said that he only wants to worship Allah because Allah is God, Allah is the creator of the universe, and therefore we should love him for it. First of all, according to the Quran, Allah is not the only creator. This is how stupid Sneeko is, because the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators. If Allah is the only creator, that means this verse in the Quran is an error. A mistake of the author of the Quran, so-called Allah, Aka Muhammad. In chapter 23, verse number 14, and chapter 37, verse 125, Allah is the best of the creators. In fact, Allah, he compared himself to Baal. And he claimed, that he is better than Baal. That means Baal is a creator and he is the best. So look how stupid the author of the Quran. The Muslim, they say we worship Allah because he is the only creator. The stupid Allah, he says he is the best of the creators. He is not the only creator. And then he compared himself to a fake pagan god. His name is Baal. This is how stupid Muhammad is. If Baal is a fake god, <laughs> false god, how I say I am the best of the creators speaking about Baal. So Allah now complaining, saying, why you pray for Baal when I am the best of the creators? Me, Baal is a creator, Allah is a creator, but Allah is best. And here the funny is, who is the one who gave Allah the certification that he's best? Himself? 
who like who is the one who says you are the best you know when we use the best that means the others are good too is that correct if I say I'm the best of the students it doesn't mean the students are bad but I'm saying I'm the best between so they are good but I'm the best so here Allah did he condemn false God or he approved them he approved them for they are good but he is the best this is how stupid the knowledge of this of, of, of the author of the Quran is you cannot be the best unless there is many like you correct the Muslim they keep saying to us you cannot compare anyone to Allah but look Allah himself he compared himself to bad <laughs> look how stupid this garbage stupid religion you they keep saying to us the Quran says nothing like Allah well this is the verse from the Old Testament nothing like God this is not from you you're copying us that's number one number two nothing like God is not about his leg and his face and etc this is not about this is nothing about like nothing like God for he is the Almighty for he is always truthful for he is always powerful for he is always eternal for he is always loving living for he is the creator so not because he you know they ask him about Allah have five fingers they say well nothing like Allah who care about him? you know what do you mean nothing like Allah he said he have five fingers in that point here you cannot use this Allah nothing like Allah because he he is the one who used the word fingers not me when Allah he used fingers that mean he have fingers when Allah he says he have a shin that mean he have a shin he is the one who compare himself to my shin it's not me are you following people are we following the meaning so Muhammad when he says Allah the best of the creators in fact he was copying and we know the story he have a scribe his name is Abdullah ibn Sarah Muhammad was reciting the chapter 23 in the Quran about how Allah created the baby which is very funny and very stupid according to Muhammad the baby created it from dead blood the sperm became dead blood and then the dead blood grow and became a baby in a such a cartonic way so regardless of the mistakes of this verse about how the babies are created obviously proving Muhammad to be a false prophet and his God does not even exist there's no way God will say such a stupid thing but here Muhammad was reciting this asking his scribe to write it down Muhammad recite and then he stop until he arrived here the word and forth as another creation Abdullah ibn Sarah and hey, remember what I'm saying to you this is what is written in their books in their interpretation not me remember carefully the Muslim they say this is not true this is in their books and this is their scholars and this is their own stories so Abdullah ibn Sarah he says so blessed be Allah the best of the creators Muhammad said to Abdullah, put it there. Abdullah, he said, what put there? He said what you just said. So blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. Abdullah, he said, hold on. I am the one who said that, O Prophet of Allah, not you. Muhammad, he said to him, it came to me as it came to you. Imagine. So Muhammad, he liked what this guy said. He told him to add it to the Quran. <laughs> and now the Quran is more in trouble. The stupid Muhammad, he liked the sentence. It fit perfectly there, according to him. So let us to copy it and put it there. But now we have how many creators? Especially we are talking about creating babies. By saying Allah, the best of the creators, this means there's many they create babies if I am talking let us say I am a car maker not a creator maker 
If I use steel, I use screws, I use oil, I use etc. Make engine, make a car, make rubber, whatever. Make tires, wire them, you know, we have a car. So, Ford is a company. Mercedes-Benz is a company. Toyota is a company. Honda is a company. Maserati is a company. Maserati is the best of the makers. <laughs> I'm not saying by the way it is no I'm just joking so by saying that I am saying all of them they make cars but I am the best of the makers now let us switch to make babies Allah describing how he make babies and then at the end he says so blessed be Allah and by the way Muslims who is the blessing Allah Any Muslim want to tell me who is a blessing Allah? In this scenario, who is blessing Allah? People, do you see the stupidity? Anyone notice with me how stupid this statement is? If Allah is talking, do Allah even need a blessing? What do you mean? What does blessing mean? What do you mean, blessed be Allah? Allah blessing Allah? Is that a supplication? What is this? So the stupid Sneeko, he do not know anything about his garbage cult. Yet he claimed that he have a religion and he have a God. But the second you start reading the stupid Quran, you will die laughing. Let us go back and laugh more. But ironically, in Christianity, Jesus is God. He created the entire universe. So why does Sneko have a problem with... Correction. Yes, in Christianity, Jesus is God and he created the universe. In Islam too, Jesus is God and he created creation. Isn't it the Quran says that the Messiah, he created from the mother bird? So is Jesus creator in the Quran? Yes, he is. In the same stupid book, it's called Quran. Jesus, he create from the mud a figure of a bird. And we know when Muhammad, he got this funny story. And by the way, here, this is additional proof that the Christians did not corrupt the book. Why? If we Christians seeking corruption to make Jesus sound like God, well, this is a story we should add right away to the front of our Bible. Do you agree, guys? Why we refuse a story saying Jesus is God, the creator? Why want to why wanna take it off? Why the Christian want to do that? Give me a reason. Those are Christian, they believe in Jesus, he is God. They worship him as God. And now there is a story saying Jesus, he do what God does. What, what God does? God, he made Adam in a figure of, of a statues, a figure of a human being, from mud. Then he breathed into Adam. And Adam came to life. Okay. Well, Jesus, he just did the same. He made the figure of a bird. And he breathed into it. And became a bird and then the Quran says by the leaf of Allah but that doesn't change anything prove first that this is by the leaf of Allah can Allah do what Jesus do prove it Jesus said during his lifetime he raised people from death the Quran witness for that but what the Quran do the Quran hijacked the power of Jesus claiming that this is Allah who gave him this power but let us go for the sake of argument with this 
If Allah, he can give Jesus the power of a creator, will that mean Allah, he shared the ability of a creation with Jesus? Do I agree? Are you with me, people? If Allah is the one who gave Jesus the ability to create, that means Allah, he decided to share his power of a creation with someone, his name is Jesus. I want to ask Muslims why. Why he did not share this power with anybody? Muhammad is the most beloved person for Allah, Muslims they claim. Yet Allah, he decided to make Jesus a creator. Is not a creation no more because the creator can't be creation. The creator is not a creation. If Jesus can create, and if he is a creator, in, I mean, if he is a creator in Islam, and Jesus is a created in Islam, that means Jesus he created himself. Are you with me? I, I would like to see people focusing with me in what I'm saying. Please, Christian Prince, can you explain to me Mark 13? I mean, don't you see we have a topic? That's mean you are not listening. You are not even with us. So what do you want me now to stop talking about my topic and explain to you a verse? Here you see the Quran debunked itself. How Jesus is the created and Jesus is a creator. Do you see why we laugh at the garbage of Muhammad? Is it possible that I am the creator? and the created in the same time. If Allah, he gave Jesus the power to create, how many creatures are exist right now made by Jesus? Is that the only one Jesus he didn't make? There's no proof. Maybe millions. If Jesus can create a bird, can't he create a human? Can't he create a human? Are you with me? There's a Muslim in uh, in uh, Discord waiting for me. Like, is he worth it? I mean, I, I don't know who then Discord. There's, uh, I don't know, like. Potatoes. But we can go to the score, no problem. The first thing you will notice that Muslims do not know anything about the religion. I mean, Muslims who they are born Muslims and they are Arab do not know what Islam is about. How this idiot Sneeko, who do not know even how to say his prophet name correctly, he do not know, as he said, he do not know until now how to pray. He have no time to pray, as he said. <laughs> I mean, this is a very stupid person. And this is why I say stupid is amazing. Am I heard in uh, Discord or nobody hear me yet? Because sometimes I log in, nobody can hear me. I guess still they can't hear me. Let me get out and come back again. <coughs> All right, am I heard, guys, in this on Discord? All right, very good. Now, if you have a Muslim, let him put his hand up, and we will take him. So here you see right away that the idiot Sneeko, 
Not only you do not know that Jesus in the Quran is a creator, not only you do not know that his God in the Quran, he is just a physical being. And if Allah is not a man, it doesn't matter what he is. A man, he have better feature than Allah. We have a person, his name is Alex and he is a Muslim. How his name is Alex and he is a Muslim. That's weird. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Alex. Hello? Muhammad, are you there? Okay, hello, CP. Hello, Alex. Alex, uh, he is a Muslim, actually, but he changed his name because of the job, to get job. Ah. He told us that before, yeah. But the thing is, Alex, you should uh, use push to talk, okay? Thank you, CP. Okay, thank you. Push to talk, push to talk. There's an option. You push, so you can talk. Somebody told me that the, 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 the one who they are speaking in this Discord, their audio is coming low in the YouTube. We will see why. Yes, hello. Hello, hello. So what's your, Can you hear me? What's your real name, uh, uh, Alex? You, they told me you changed your name. Your name is what? Muhammad Ahmad, what's your name? <laughs> no, th this is my real name because I live in Europe now. Are you so, um, so your name, your name become, became Alex because you live in Europe? Yeah, yeah, I live in Europe, uh -huh. uh, and it's for practical reasons. Ah, uh -huh, for practical, okay. So what do you think about, why well, you are a Muslim? Uh, I was born into it, actually. My father is a Muslim. No problem, but why you are now a Muslim? You are, you are a growing man, you know? Yeah. So why you are a Muslim? Yeah, so uh, ba basically, uh, yeah, because we believe in Allah and Muhammad, what you believe? As a prophet of God. Well, okay, uh, Muhammad is a prophet of God. Can you, when we say somebody is a prophet, that means he prophesy, correct? Yeah, correct. Okay, give me a prophecy to prove that Muhammad is a prophet. Yeah, the one we hear all the time, uh, uh, like يتطاولون, يتطاولون um, and okay. he's speaking about the Arabs, uh, you know, and, it hap uh, and it's happening now in Dubai. Can you explain to the people what does that mean? Yeah, so uh, so the Arabs. I, I'm. I'm. Uh, by the way, I'm also from the the Middle Middle East originally. No problem. So, so uh, yeah, it means that the the the, the Arabs uh, who used to be like uh, Habail, How do you say it? Tribes. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, so there are tribes, and uh, there the. They used to live like in, in in tents, in really low buildings, and now they are like competing with each other to build taller and taller bu buildings, and that's what hap what's happening in. All right. I think Dubai. All right. So my friend, let me show you how this is is very funny. First of all, okay. The Arab they have high buildings, and those people of Yemen they have high buildings be before people in Europe. So your prophet, he gave false prophecies because already those people who live in Yemen and they are naked in their feet and they are shepherd and they are having high buildings. Secondly, why wouldn't read the whole Hadith? In the Hadith, it says that, you know, uh, uh, Muhammad, he made many prophecies about, about those, right? Uh, and, and, uh, yeah, I think I read the hadith. Yes, it says it's uh, uh, many, many ones. Yeah. In so, so in the hadith, Muhammad he claimed that there is a conditions and there is things have to happen, and then when those 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 things happen, the judgment day will be there. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, that's me. Muhammad is a false prophet because already long, long time ago, the Arab they have high buildings. Starting from Yemen, thousand of years ago. Plus, mm. if this has happened in Dubai, as you claim, well, this is a sign of the day of judgment. How come nothing happening? <laughs> so yeah. So so if this is a, a prophecy, Muhammad he failed, you know. So uh, when when uh, 
when a Muslim, when a Muslim he says to me uh, 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 such a story, I laugh because let us read together and then you will notice in two seconds that your prophet is a false prophet. Do you see my screen? Yeah, I'm actually uh, on your live on YouTube. I will mute so I can. Okay, let me, guys, those who they are in Discord, if you don't mind, you go to YouTube so you can see the screen if you like to see what I'm going to show him. All right, or you can go to Rambo. Can you read for me, uh, uh, Muhammad, whatever your real name? Go ahead. Can you read for me what you see in the screen? Uh, yeah, narrated Abu Huraira, Allah, Allah's messenger, uh, said, The hour will not be established till two big groups fight each other, mm. whereupon there will be a great number of casualties mm. on both sides. Mm. And they will be following one and the same religious doctrine. Mm -hmm. Till about 30 Dajjals, liars, mm -hmm. appear and each, each one of them will claim that he is Allah's messenger. Mm -hmm. Till the religious knowledge is taken, mm -hmm. this is number three, away by the death of the religious scholars. Mm -hmm. Four, earthquakes will increase in number. Mm -hmm. Five, time will pass quickly. Six, a Afflictions will appear. Mm. Uh, seven, al harsh, uh, i.e., killing, will increase. Eight, till wealth will be in abundance, so abundant that a wealthy person will worry uh, lest nobody should accept his zakat. Mm -hmm. And whenever he will present it to someone, that person to whom it will be offered will say, I'm not in need of it. Nine, Till the people compete with one another in constructing high buildings. Let us stop Ten. here. Let us stop here. Did you notice what happened, okay. my friend? Your prophet is a big fat liar. I'm not insulting. Because in order mm. in order for people of Dubai to have a high buildings, all those things should happen first. <laughs> so let us go back to zero. Two okay. group of people will fight. What does that mean? I mean, always there's two group of people fight. Buddhists fighting Buddhists, like in China and, uh, you know, in Japan. Uh, uh, World War II, many religion, what two group? So what, what, what is judgment? Day? I mean, always there's two group, bigger group. Then we continue. And then he says, huh. 30 Dajjal who claim to be the messenger of Allah. Can you name for me the 30 Dajjal? <laughs> well, <what? laughs> then he says, uh, the yeah. religion, the religion knowledge will be taken away, which means nobody is a Muslim no more. Nobody knows what Islam is. That what happened? I mean, it, it's not. It's not like that. But a lot of Muslims are not practicing today. No, 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 no. The scholars, the scholars, the death of the scholars. Nobody knows Islam no more. Zero, uh -huh. zero, zero scholar, zero true believer, zero knowledgeable person. Is that what happened? No. So, and then earthquake will increase in number. And time will pass quickly, which means that they become shorter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do we have a shorter day? No. Then number six, affliction will appear, which means big problems in the world. And then al harj people will kill each other. And then people will become so rich to the point nobody will take money. Mm. So before the people of Dubai build their high building, people, if they see money in the street, nobody will take it. You say to a guy, I want to give you money. They say, no, 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 I don't want it. I do not need it. So when you say yeah. to me that Muhammad, he says, oh, he, the, 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 the Bedouin, they will go high in the building. I love because this is a proof of Muhammad to be a fast. And look, one, two. So this is number nine, number 10, 10. Till a man will be passing by a grave of someone else will say, what that I wear in this place. Until the sun rise from the west. <laughs> so if yeah. Muhammad is a prophet, so look what the, what the Muslim do. They took one sentence of many lies and they say, look what happened. The prophet, he said that those Arab, they will have high buildings. Uh-huh. But the Arab, they have high building from before. Isn't it you Muslim, you claim that the people of Yemen are Arab? Yeah, the Yemenis are Arabs, yeah. 
and they and they are like they have they have floors six seven floor buildings and that because of the nature of their, like of their the land the, the nature of their land is mountains so they have you know and be, for this for the sake of protection too so uh when Muhammad he made a prophecy hmm. all those things fail all of them hmm. but why Muhammad and why the Muslims they took only one sentence to make Muhammad a prophet why they didn't quote for us the rest of what Muhammad said the answer is very simple because if they quote the rest the rest will prove Muhammad to be a fraud. So what we will do? We quote mm. only two words and we ignore the rest. Do you see the buildings of Yemen? Historic buildings. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So did Muhammad prophesy anything? No. In fact, all his prophecies is false. Yeah. I mean, are these buildings like pre-Islamic? Yeah, yeah, there's even, you know, my friend, uh, 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 speaking about uh, 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 high buildings, even if, like, okay, if we go right now into this, to the, to the, to, to Jordan, Betra, Betra, yeah. the whole city is in the rocks. Amazing. And they are what? Mm. They are shepherds. They are not engineers. They are not, it's a, so, this is a very silly, stupid prophecy made by mm. a false man. And as you see, in order for this pro a prophecy to, 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 be, to, to, to accomplish, we have all those things have to happen. So before we reach the people of Dubai, building the high buildings, did we reach the point where wealth will be abundant? No. Aren't you saying to me, you came to Europe and you are looking for a work and you did change your name? You need work, right? You need yeah. money. Okay. So, yeah. like, do you find money in the street? No. But how come, he said, that the Arab, one of the signs of the Day of Judgment, that the Arab, after the wealth became abundance, they will build high buildings? Yeah. I want to ask you, my friend, did you read yes. ever before what I'm showing you on the screen? Uh, say that again. Did you ever see what I am showing you on the screen before? Those uh, this hadith? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've seen it before okay. because I've done some research, but I did not understand it as like chronological, you know, in uh, like it has to be in this order. No, it have to be because Muhammad he said this and this and this is so starting. You know, if I start saying this and then this, and that's mean this is the order. That's why even the Muslim they count number one, number two. You see, this is not me. This is the Muslim website, right? So they are the one who right. put the numbers. And obviously, when Muhammad he count them, even if he did not add the word like the letter like the number one, but this is number one. So the hour will not be established till starting this mm. and this and this and this and this and this and this. And as you see, right. if Muhammad is a true prophet, already the Arab, they have high buildings. Mm. But Dubai and, and, Dubai and the Emirat and Kuwait and Bahrain is where a human trafficking happening, abused, rape, prostitution, mm. women, they are brought from around the world for sex, slavery, so is wealth is abundance? Do people go to Dubai and they collect money from the street? Or they have to work in slavery to make it? Uh, actually, there are a lot of like foreign workers there and the conditions are not so good. Absolutely. Like Sla slavery, beach, all middle, anyone who mm. works in the Middle East is a fool. You know, especially if you are a female. The first thing will happen to you, you will be abused and you will be used and mostly you will be thrown in the dumpster. Mm. You can have a place in Dubai only if you are a very beautiful girl who allow herself to become a whore. You will work there, you will make good money and you come back home with AIDS. 
This is if mm. they let you take the money with you. But this is not our problem now. Muhammad is a false mm. prophet, no question, we'll see you. And look, he continued, he did not even stop. He claimed that after they make a high buildings, a man, he will pass by the grave of someone, he will say, what that I wear in this place? What, what does that mean? I mean, I wish I mean this place. And then the sun will rise from the west. So the stupid Muhammad think that the sun mm. rise or a direction change, but we know that the sun rise not. The sun mm. rise from, the sun does not, this is how we see it. Muhammad, he claimed that the sun rise by what? By claiming that the sun changed its direction. If we go to the Fahadith, we will find this. Hmm. Let us read this Hadith together. And this is Sahih okay. again. This is Sahih Bukhari. Once I was sitting yes. in with the Prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, Oh Abu Dhar. You know what Dhar mean? Dhar? Abu Dhar? Uh-huh. No. The father of the ants. Do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, It goes and prostrate itself underneath Allah's throne. That is Allah's statement, and the sun runs to its fixed course. So now, did we confirm that Muhammad, he believed that the sun is the one is moving? Yeah, it's moving to its fixed uh, to its fixed course, yeah, it says. Yeah, here. but this is what? This is the sun rise and the sun set, right? The daily thing. And the sun runs in, on its fixed course. Yeah, but we are talking uh, about what? We are talking about the sun rise and the sun set every day, every 24 hours, correct? Yeah. Hmm. Is that accurate? I, th I think uh, a lot of Muslims uh, say it's uh, like a metaphorical thing or like metaphysical, you know? You know, I like the metaphorical. The guy, he was in the, in the back of the donkey of Muhammad. The donkey was metaphorical. Abu Dhar... He is the father of the ants because those ants are metaphorical. The prophet, he huh. said to Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun goes? That was metaphorical. Abu Dhar, he said, Allah and his apostle knows best. That's metaphorical. Allah messenger said, the sun goes under Allah's throne. That's metaphorical. I mean, what a joke. How come the Arab will build a building, high building was not metaphorical? Uh, uh, I think I meant metaphysical, like we cannot perceive it. No, no, metaphysical. What metaphysical? This guy, he described, he claimed that Allah told him knowledge. Nobody knows. That's why the mm. man, he believed Allah and his apostle knows best. The Muslims are mushrikeen kuffar. They associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. You know, imagine you say, uh, Allah and the Christian prince knows best. That means I am and Allah, they are, we are the same. We know best. That is kuffar. That is a shirk. You, Muslims are polytheists. They are not monotheists. They associate the knowledge of a one man with the knowledge of their God. So how God is knowledgeable if Allah and Muhammad knows best? So now if Allah is not there, Muhammad knows. We do not need Allah. But look what Muhammad said, claiming that the sun goes every day from the east to the west. And then one day, the sun will ask Allah for permission to go back and Allah will not permit it. So he will talk, yeah. he will tell the sun to go back where it's coming from. Do you see the hadith here? So yeah. until the day of judgment, this is the sign. This is the sign we mentioned in the other hadith. Remember the one about the high buildings. So now the sun will rise from the west. Why? Why the sun will rise from the west? That explained in this because, hadith here. Because when the sun asks for permission, it's going to be about to prostrate itself. But its prostration will not be accepted, and it will be asked. Uh, the sun will ask to permission to go uh, on its course as usual. You know, rise from the east, set in the west as usual. 
but it will not be permitted, but it's going to be ordered to return whence it has come and raise from the west. But we know that this is absolutely false. And no way Muhammad is a prophet of God if he is claiming that this is coming to him from God. The sun doesn't go every day from the east to the west. The sun is not asking anyone for permission to come back. And if the sun will rise from the west, you do not need to change the sun location. You need just to change the earth rotation. Mm. Mm. You still a Muslim? I mean, scientifically, you're correct. Uh, the the Earth just rotates. Uh, the sun doesn't go anyway, anywhere. But uh, I mean, when we describe uh, the the sunset, for example, we're like we're not describing it doing that literally. My friend, uh, no, no, you see, how it no, no, no. You see, here we go. We want to play games. This is the guy. Muhammad and is his companion in the top of the donkey. Muhammad, he yeah. said to him, do you know where the sun goes? So now the sun is sitting, right? So when you try to Pardon. make it, he is not making literally. No, he is. Why you are making things up? When, when Muhammad he here in the hadith here, he says the sun, this is the sign from the day of judgment. This metaphorical now. You see? No, no, it's not metaphorical. Okay, no, no. so now it's not metaphorical because this is a sign of the day of judgment. This is something will happen. Something right. we will see by eyes. This is not emotional. Yes. So we will see the sun coming from the west. Muhammad explained what will happen exactly. The sun goes every mm. day from the east to the west uh, and then asking Allah permission to go back and is going to be permitted. And then one day, that day is what? That is the day when the judgment day is coming, correct? Correct. Then is not going to be permitted. So you say it scientifically, this is wrong. But that means yeah. Muhammad is wrong, and he's lying. Yeah, I mean to be honest, I find the the part about uh, the sun going to a fixed place, like uh, uh, I've read it before. I I don't understand it. Like it doesn't make uh, sense to me. That part. Well, Muhammad, he um, explained it. Muhammad, explain it to you now. The sun run. You see, he, Muhammad, he says, and this is what Allah's statement. He explained the verse in the same hadith. Do you see it? And that is the interpretation yeah, yeah. of Allah's statement. Mm. The sun runs to its fixed course. Mm. Yeah. So Allah is wrong. Muhammad is wrong. Islam is wrong. Islam is false. Thank you very much. So when I ask you, can you give me mm. a prophecy, your prophet he gave, to, because you call him prophet, you gave me this, it was your choice. Did I force you to choose it? No. So, if this is the best of your choices, it is a huge collapse. Obviously, Muhammad is a big fraud. Uh, there is another prophe prophecy. Uh -huh. I think it was about the Romans uh, winning, um, uh, being victorious. Uh -huh. Over the Persians, I think. Okay. All he right. did prophesy that. All right. Let me, I will give you a prophecy. Trump, he will win the election in 2006. What do you think about that? 2016. 2016. Uh huh. But he already, like, it was in the past. Exactly. <laughs> Muhammad, he gave the prophecy after they won. If you go, my friend, the problem is that the Muslims do not know their religion. Okay. So if we go in the so Quran, the, okay. read with me. This is the Hadith, and this is Sahih, correct? Do you see? It says Sahih. Let me see. Hmm? Uh, yeah, yeah, it says Sahih, yes. All right. Can you read for me, please, the reference? The reference? Yeah, in the screen. Uh, you scroll. You scrolled up again. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you mean I, uh, Abu Said? Abu Said? Yeah, Abu Said. Uh, yeah, no, that's a little Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He narrated on the day of Badr, the Romans had a victory over the Persians. So, so the believers were pleased with that. Then the following uh, was revealed. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, okay. Uh, uh, man, uh, then the so do you understand also. now why I said Trump he is going mm. to win the election in 2016 and you laugh? Mm. Uh huh. So your prophet yeah. he prophesied that the Roman will win after they won. Mm. Plus, so, okay. if we if we delete this uh, this hadith, if we take it off, let's say we don't have it. If you go yeah. to the Quran, you will find that the Quran mentioning the word Bidah. The word Bidah in Arabic means between three to nine. Yeah. It cannot be two. It cannot be ten. So it can be three. Right. It can be four, five, six, it's and ten, nine. If you go and right. see the victory, this victory here never happened really because it took the Roman long time after that to finish the war because a victory in a battle is not a victory in war, correct? Right. Victory right. in war when you defeat the enemy totally and the war is finished. Mm. That is a victory. So if you calculate, you will see that the war with the Persian took almost maybe 17 to 18, 20 years. You know, you can go and check the dates of all the battles between the Roman and the Persian. The battle we are talking about here, this is in the Holy Land, when the Roman in the beginning they were defeated and then the Persian they were able to take Jerusalem and then this called the siege of Jerusalem you can go check it out and then the Roman they were able to take back the land so the Ro and hey by the way there's something very fishy here does it say mm. the believer will be pleased with that yes why so the believers are pleased yeah why the believers Muslim will pleased by the victory of the Roman. Mm. Um, <laughs> I think, I think we like the Persians were the enemy, the enemies of the Muslims at the time. No, no, hold on, something. hold on. If the Christians are kuffar, mm. and they are worshiping a man, as the Muslim they say, and may Allah curse them. So mm. why the believers will be happy because the Roman are winning? Isn't you Muslim? You want to fight the Roman after? So here Muhammad, he was a plain that he is a Christian. He claimed that he is supporting the Roman. Like you support Brazil, I support Germany football. So mm. his team is the Roman. <laughs> but here the hypocrisy. At that moment, Muhammad, he was trying to say that he is a Christian. He support the Roman. Okay, and they are making fun of him. Look, the Roman, they lost. He said, okay, okay, Allah told me the Roman would be victorious. So Allah with the Roman. But then suddenly the Roman, they are kuffar. Yeah. Give me another one. The first two is a big failure. Do you have another new? Another prophecy? Yeah. I think he said too that Islam will be like... Uh, the, the minority religion because uh, he said in Arabic I think um, something like um, ala min nar. Mm -hmm. like describing the problem uh, in today's society or in the future he will be like as if he is holding uh, something really hot you know what I mean yeah but you remember we answered this already because Muhammad he claimed that all the scars of knowledge will die before the Arab they build the high building. You remember? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Muhammad he is saying a statement. I mean, this guy he I don't know. I mean, I didn't know what's saying, but obviously, we do not need all of those to prove Muhammad to be false. If Muhammad he lie in one, he is a liar. If Muhammad he lie in two, he is liar twice. If Muhammad he lie in three, he is liar twice. But that will not change the fact that he cannot be a prophet anywhere. Mm. Right? Right. So are you out of Islam? I I mean I always I've always ha have had like doubts um to be honest, but the thing is um I started like um uh, watching your videos and other other people on YouTube and such stuff and uh, yeah and then I started getting doubts and I started looking up stuff and uh, explanations and all that, you know.
So what do you think? Are you out of Islam today? Did you decide to leave? Um, no, it's not, it's not easy to, uh, you know, leave uh, something you were born into. You know what happened to me when I was born? My mom, she told me that I'm one born covered by hair. And since then, I'm covered by hair. What does this have to do with this, my friend? So, okay, I'm covered by hair. I, you know, we, are, we Arab look like chimpanzee. We, they kick us from the swimming pool because they think we are wearing our fur. But there is something we cannot change in our creation. But there is something we can change in our belief. What born into? Mm -hmm. So if Muhammad, if you are confused, that and now the confusion is out, Muhammad obviously is a false prophet. What is the reason to stay in such a place? Already you agreed that he is a false prophet. So you are out. Mm. Yeah. I mean, regarding the hadith, and I'm not saying it's sahih and, and all that, uh, why I have problems with the hadith is not because of the greats, uh, sahih, had, uh, hasan, daif. It's more about uh, they have compiled the hadith like 200 years after the prophet. But this is the same Quran too. The Quran was compiled hundreds of years after Muhammad. The most popular Quran, the Muslim they have today is the recitation of Hafs. If you have the Quran in Arabic, open page A. It says, mm. this Quran is according to the recitation of Hafs ibn Asim. Correct? Mm. Okay. So, yes, I know. No, yeah. yeah. So according to, according to, according to, according to, according to recitation, not writing. No book. Mm. And nobody have a book of Hafs. And Hafs was accused by Muslim to be a fraud and liar. This is why his hadith is rejected. So Muslims and the Quran and the hadith, both of them, they are collected long time mm. after Muhammad. However, if it's collected from the first day or not, it's still the same for me. Quran is a stupid. Did you see how the Quran speak about how the baby is made? How this is can be from God? The sun set in murky water. He found mm. where the sun set. He found where the sun rise. So, yeah. hail coming from mountains in heaven. <laughs> Women, she have semen coming from her ribs. So it doesn't matter if the Quran collected from the first day. This is why I don't debate Muslims about the Quran is being corrupted. Because you cannot corrupt something is false anyway. I mean, this is funny. How you can corrupt something is a, is a trash. It's like, you know, uh, the water was pure and you make it dirty. Well, it was dirty always. It was a sewage from the beginning. So saying to somebody, you made it dirty, it's like saying to me or saying to myself, it was a clean and now I'm going to prove to you it become dirty. But this is not the case. Mm. It was always dirty and it's going to stay dirty. Mm. And now the Muslims are sorry, especially those who they consider themselves religious. They are sorry they collected those stories. Look, if the Muslim did not collect those stories, which I'm showing you in the screen, Mm. You might stay in Islam, believing Islam is a true, because I have no proof to provide to you from the mouth of Muhammad that he's a fraud. But now, thanks to Muslims, mm. they gave us all the proofs. And they gave it a grade. Da'if, weak, sahih, authentic, right? right? So now the Muslim, he don't have the choices. Some Muslims, they try to be smart. They say, I reject the hadith. Well, we have the Quran. And by the way, you cannot mm. reject the Hadith because if you reject the Hadith, you reject Islam. All Islam is based on the Hadith. Yeah, I know. So are you out of Islam, my friend? I have just uh, another question. All right. Uh, regarding the embryology in, uh, in the Quran. Yeah. Um, I, I think I heard you talking about it, and then I looked it up, like on a Muslim, uh, on, an, on an Islamic website, uh -huh. and they spoke about, uh, or uh, about, you know, the mudra, the, the alaqa, uh -huh. uh, and they said that, I think the mudra was like, um, they described it as something chewy and, 
uh, had a had the form of a you know little insect mm. that resembles the the embryo wow. in the early stages. Okay. Uh, look, look what I will do. I'm I'm not going to explain to you the verse. I will let Muhammad explain it to us. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Doctor Muhammad, uh, we will call him, and he will give us the answer. All those hadith, as you see, is your prophet claiming that he have knowledge and he is explaining how the baby is made. Mm. Read with me carefully. Can you read for us? Yeah. Uh, so the messenger uh, said, when the dr when the drop of semen remains in the womb for forty or forty five nights. The angel comes and says, My Lord, will he be good or evil? And both these things will be written. Then the angel says, My Lord, would be would he be male or female? And both these things are written. And his deeds and actions, his death, his livelihood, these are also recorded. Okay, let us stop there. Done. You know, the rest is not important. You will see here. It says, mm -hmm. according to your prophet, that semen remain in the womb for 45 nights mm. is that godly semen will remain for 40 semen semen yeah okay mm -hmm. is that what science they say you can no search it says that maximum semen can stay alive for five days and not in the womb. Yeah, I know. Uh, I I okay. I'm, uh, I study medicine. Oh, okay, uh, that's so... good. So you know it very well. So now this is false. Muhammad is a liar. Let us continue. Muhammad, mm. he give us even more options. And as you see, all of this is sahih, authentic. Here it says, when the drop mm. of semen remain in the womb for 40, 50 nights, an angel come and say, Oh my Lord, will be he good or evil? Both things will be written. And the angel will say, My Lord, he will be male or female. Mm. Okay. What is the last thing? Is, is male and female is the last thing to happen to a baby? No. Look what he says here, just to make it more clear. The prophet says, Allah has appointed an angel in the womb. The angel says, Oh Lord, a drop of, uh, of semen. Oh Lord, a clot. The semen now become a clot. <laughs> uh -huh. Since when semen become a clot? A dead blood. Is that really what science says? Semen does not become anything. Semen deliver the DNA and fertilize the eggs and that's it. Deliver right. the message, a copy of message of the DNA, fertilize the egg and the, and the egg will start multiplying, correct? Right. And there's no clot. And then... Oh Lord, the clot. Oh Lord, piece of a flesh. Human being, he was a clot and then he became a piece of a flesh. Uh, what is a clot? Clot is a congealed blood, is the dead blood. Alaqa. Alaqa to dam. You know? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The dry, dead blood. The dry, dead blood. Like when you cut your skin, you, yeah, have, yeah. you have a blood, and this is a, one of the. Uh, mercy of the Lord, He gave us a, mm. a, a natural bandage to stop a bleeding. Otherwise, we will be in trouble. So yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. so uh, the clot, the Muhammad he claimed that the angel he asked Allah, "O oh, semen, O oh, semen, there, O oh, Allah, clot, or oh, the semen become a clot, O oh, a piece of a flesh." This who, the science says piece of a flesh. And then, no. and then, wishes to complete mm. a child creation. And the angel will say, Oh Lord, male or female? So according to the science of Muhammad, the last thing will happen is male or female. But we know that the gender is already determined from the, the from the sperm. Right, right. Here it's the last thing. <laughs> yeah, does it does it say like uh, uh, semen in, in, in Arabic? Yeah, in Notwa, yeah, Notwa. 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 Uh -huh, uh -huh. You see? 
إن الله وكل في الرحم ملاكا يقول رب رب ربي نطفة يا ربي علقة يا ربي مضغة <تصفيق> <laughs> yeah. What is this? This is the this is the science of Islam. Mm. And nutfa means like the semen of the man, right? Yeah, yeah. No, actually, Muhammad, hold on. Muhammad he claimed, mm. Muhammad he claimed. This is another stupid mistake, Muhammad he said. Now, not for mm. we are talking about the man, yes, but Muhammad he have different hadith, he says that mm. the water of the man and the water of the women. Will make the baby. What water he is talking about? It is the, the orgasm water. So, if we go here, uh. read with me. And here you see again, Muhammad is making a poo poo. I mean, Doctor Muhammad. Sorry. Uh. Read it. The messenger of Allah said, the man's water is thick and white, and the woman's water is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, <laughs> the child will resemble that parent. Mm -hmm. The science of the Prophet of Allah. How Prophet of Allah, he knew this 1400 years ago, that if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a male and will look like him. And if the women mm. have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl and will look like her. <laughs> and whoever comes first, I mean, this is a pure science. Most of Muslim women, they never come because Muslim, they do circumcision for their women. In fact, yeah, uh, the same hadith, actually, if we go in the original hadith, you will see that the wife of Muhammad, she was surprised when Ammu Salama, she said, uh, uh, Ammu Salim, she said, that she saw a hot dream. Um Salim is a whore, obviously. Because what kind of a woman she go to someone, says to him, Yesterday I was imagining myself having sex with somebody and I have orgasm. So look what happened. Um Salim told mm -hmm. how Um Salim said, Messenger of Allah. Allah is not ashamed of the truth. This is the truth. No shame, no shame. What the truth? What happened? If is there any washing necessarily if a woman when she see a sexual dream, <laughs> the fact she is not talking about a, a sexual dream only. I mean, what sexual dream? Tahtalim. Tahtalim is orgasm. So for a woman, yeah. she said, is it necessary for women if she see a sexual dream to wash? He said, yes, when she, she see a sign of a liquid. Umm Salama, she covered herself and she said, do women have orgasm? Not sexual dream. You see the translator, he's trying to cover the problem. Why? Because this is the wife of Muhammad. And obviously, uh -huh. she never had orgasm. If we change the, 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 the same hadith, different translator. Look what, uh -huh. look what will happen. Just to show you how they lie in the translation. Uh -huh. Umm Salim asked Allah Messenger about women sees in a dream something like which man sees. The Messenger says, if she sees that and she has this charge, then let her perform bath. Umm Salama said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, do women discharge? <laughs> <laughs> the Muslim translation says, This is really happening? No, she's asking, Does it really? Do women even have this charge? The wife of Muhammad, she never have this charge. So Muhammad, he now, he said to her, stupid. Yes, the water of the man is thick and white and the water of the women is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, predominate the child and resemble the parents. A smart Muslim, he says to me, well, this is about the chromosome. Hold on, hold on. What the chromosome have to do with the water of the man and the water of the women? The water of the man is a semen. No problem. There is a chromosome there. The water of the women uh. is yellow and thin. That is a lotion have nothing to do with the egg. The egg is not a water and it's not gushing forth and we don't wash it. And it's not, not yellow. <laughs> right, so, right, and yeah. it doesn't matter who comes first, who comes after. I mean, most of Muslim women, they never have uh, orgasm, as you see here in the story of Amu Salama.
So what does have to uh, do who come first and who come after? Whichever of them comes first, open the child will resemble. Like, uh, what what does he mean by resemblance? Like, he he mean he mean like, he mean look as a male, a uh, look as a female. Which mean if if he come first, the baby will be a boy. And if he if she come first, the baby will be a girl. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is incorrect. Yeah. It's not determined. So as you see here, look. This is why Muslim day once a Muslim Sheikh he challenged me. He said, "You are a liar." Nowhere it says that will make him a boy. It says resemble, and then I got him busted mm -hmm. with this hadith. You will see here it okay. says. Uh, let us see here. You can see it in Arabic, but let us show it to everybody. So he said, mm -hmm. uh, "Let us see." Uh, okay, so here it's supposed to be a miracle. A Jewish man, he came to Muhammad and he asked him three questions. If you don't mind, if you can read the, the reference from us. Uh, narrated Anas, when the news of the, uh, the arrival of the Prophet at Medina reached Abdullah uh, bin Salam, he went to him to ask him about certain things. He said, I'm going to ask you about three things which only a Prophet can answer. Um, what is the first sign of the hour? What is the first food food which the people of paradise will eat? Why does a child attract the similarity of, to his father or to his mother? The prophet replied, Gabriel has just now informed me of that. Ibn Salam said, He, i.e. Jibreel, is the enemy of the Jews amongst the, the angels. The prophet said, as the first sign of the hour, it will be a fire that will collect the people from the east to the west. As for the first meal which the people of paradise will eat, it will be the caudate lobe of the fish liver. <laughs> as for the child, if the man's discharge proceeds, the woman's di discharge, the child attracts the similarity to the man. And if, if the woman's discharge precedes the man's, then the child attracts the similarity to the woman. Okay. So look at this. In Arabic, actually, in here it says, it says clearly, it's going to be a boy. So he, and we can show more, but look why Muhammad now. Look at this funny story. Mm. Do you remember you said to me the prophecies of the Prophet and we counted 10, 13, etc., right? You see right. here Muhammad, he is counting something different. He said the first sign of the hour is that now a fire will collect people from east and west. <laughs> this, one, uh -huh. this one is not mentioned there. And here actually to make it more funny, the Jews, they asked Muhammad a, a question and they said to him, Nobody knows the answer for those questions except the prophet. But the Jews agree with him that those are the answers. But I, I thought nobody knows the answer for them except the prophet. <laughs> yeah. If nobody knows the answer for those except the prophet, that means all of them are prophets. All those Jews yeah. who they are there, they are prophets because nobody knows the answer for this question except the prophet. And then Muhammad, he is saying to them the signs of the hour, and the hour is going to do this, and we will eat the liver the, uh, of, of, the, of the whale. Why Muhammad saying that? Because Muslims, they are going to go and have sex, and they believe that if you eat the liver of the, of the whale, and you eat the amber or the, you know, the, the sexual uh, 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 hormone of the whale, that will make you very good in bed. So Muhammad... Uh, uh, now he is proving that he is a prophet and the Jews they agree they said wow you gave us the correct answer oh prophet of Allah unbelievable you know <laughs> another another hadith another hadith just to yeah. make it clear uh, it says it clearly adhkar let us see here uh, I'm trying to find the hadith about which make it clearly it's a boy. Uh, Let us see. 
you know, there's tons of hadith, so. Maybe we, maybe we passed it, we did not notice. Let us see. Yeah, I need the, uh, uh, maybe let us try. But anyway, you got the idea. All of this is false. If one of them is false, if if one thing Muhammad said is false, obviously he's a false prophet. But as you see, everything he says is false. And if he is claiming, uh -huh. you see, if Muhammad is saying his own opinion, I can say, okay, he's wrong. But Muhammad, he claimed that, did you see the hadith says, Jibreel told me right now, just Jibreel answer me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we cannot say this is the opinion of Muhammad, he was wrong. All of us, we can be wrong. He said that he received this from Jibreel. And where Jibreel he received it? From Allah. Yeah, yeah. right? From God. Yeah. yeah. So if 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 Muhammad he received this from Jibreel, and this is false, yeah. that means Muhammad is a false prophet. Yeah, I mean it's it's uh, it's a it's a weird statement. It's incorrect. Uh, it's absolutely false, it? and Muhammad is a false prophet. So, what do you think? You want to stay as a Muslim? No, I don't think so. Uh, well, I'm happy for you. Uh, uh, you made the right decision, and I'm glad that I spoke to you today. So what do you think about Christianity then? As long as you decide to leave Islam, what do you think about Christianity? Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've heard a lot of good things uh, about Jesus, like as a, as, uh, like, uh, as, a, as a person who he was. What he did uh, only good things I don't have anything bad but this is not but this is another reason to believe uh, in Jesus because he is a good person I mean this is normal to be because he is supposedly God so why he will not be good but we're not talking about good we are talking about mm. the only good because no man is good you see mm. all of us we are sinners do we agree right all of us, in a certain point of our life, we did something wrong. Sometimes we do it every day. Uh, mm. We repent, we ask God forgiveness. Uh, we sometimes will repeat our sin, sometimes we overcome it. But it doesn't matter what. And during our lifetime, we face sin always. And face, facing sin mean what? That we are not good. Jesus is good. He is always good. He was always good. And good always he will be. So that is the main reason to believe that Jesus is God. For he is perfect. Because to be good all the time, well, that means you are not a human like us. Jesus says, I am from above and you are from below. If Jesus says, I am from above and Jesus was a bad person, and he is not good, or he commits sin. I will mm. say to Jesus, how you are from above, you are like us. Mm. How you are from above. When Jesus speaks about above, he is not talking location. He's talking about that he is God. Yeah. It's not about second floor and first floor. Mm. It's about, I am God, and you are my creation. And you are below because you are a sinner. Yeah. So if Jesus is good in the meaning of perfection, and if you agree with me, that means you need, mm -hmm. and maybe you should accept that Jesus is God because why he is good. Mm -hmm. What the reason to be good? 
There's no reason for a human to be good because a human being cannot be good. It's impossible. The word yeah, good, we have a lot of when we say the word good yeah. for a human being, it's just a relative to others. So I yeah. say this is a good person, but I'm comparing bad to worse, maybe. Like yeah. someone, like all of us, we are sinners, but there is one of us, he is, let us say, he, he do less sin. He have a better quality. He is a more sin resistance than, than, than me. But at the end of the day, yeah. all of us, we are like a dirty rag, but one of us, his rag is so full of dirt. The other one is so, so, the other one is little. So, but all have dirt. But in the yeah. case of Jesus, his perfection sponsored or supported by his ability. You know that the Quran says that Jesus, he raised people from death, correct? Yeah, yeah. Well, who is the one who can resurrect people from death? I mean, on the God. The Quran speak about Jesus. He created from the mother bird. Who is the one who can create? God. The creator. Yeah, God. Jesus can tell you what you hide in your house, as the Quran says. Correct? Mm. Muhammad, he said, I cannot tell you the future and if I know the future mm. I will choose the best of it for myself for himself yes okay if Jesus can know what you hide you hide in your house and Muhammad mm. he do not know the unseen so why Jesus can knew the unseen, the future, and Muhammad, he cannot? What is the reason? I mean, Muhammad is just a, a human. And Jesus this is not just a human. Mm. Look what, G, what Muhammad, he said. Chapter 6, yeah. verse number 50. Chapter 11, verse number 30. Muhammad, he repeat the same thing, obviously, the Muslims. Do you notice how they are repeating the same exact thing? They put them in two places. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll it's right. the same in the beginning. Uh -huh. yeah. So Muhammad saying, I cannot say to you that I know the unseen, the treasure of Allah. Huh? I don't, mm. I do not know. And Muhammad, he says, is the one who do not know, the blind, is equal to the one who can seize? <laughs> but this is who this is him compared to Jesus Jesus in the Quran he can tell you what you hide in your houses what mm. even you ate what you even you drunk what even you said Muhammad saying I do not know the unseen I know nothing of it and is the blind equal to the one who can see so Jesus can see the future Muhammad he cannot who is the who is the blind in this case? Muhammad. Who is the one who can see? Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Chapter 11, verse number 31. And I do not say that you to you, that with me are the treasure of Allah, which mean knowing the unseen. Nor I know the ghaib, which mean the future. Nor do yeah. I say I am an angel. And I do not say those whom your eyes look down upon that Allah will bestow any good to them. Muhammad, he know nothing. Mm. He have no idea about the future. He cannot tell you the future. And here you see that Muhammad mm. is answering because he's a prophet. They are asking him to tell them about the future. Prophesy to us. Muhammad, the answer says, well, I do not know. Mm. I do not know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Jesus, he knew. A Muslim might say, well, if Jesus is God, how come in the Bible it says that Jesus said, only my father know the hour? Well, in Christianity, mm. we don't have a problem with that because we believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. 
The father has a job to announce the hour. The son mm. has a job to judge the hour. Mm. And that's it. It's not me. It's not my job. Mm. It's my job. Mm. I am the one who have the power over the flesh in the day of judgment. Jesus will be the judge. If you remember, mm. there is a hadith, I don't know if you know it, where Muhammad he says that the Messiah will come upon you as a sign of a day of judgment as a just mm. just ruler. Hakaman mm. yeah, think... yeah, yeah, yeah. uh -huh. So if Jesus is going to be absolute judge and just, who is Jesus then? Mm. Who is yeah. who is judge save God? Mm. Nobody. Yeah, nobody can can be uh, like absolutely just except God. Yeah, right. yeah, because in order to know to judge justly, first you have to know the end scene, which means nobody can lie to you. Right. Right. If you are just a yes. man, I can bring two false witnesses. The witness that I was with them when the crime happened, and then I get away with it because you are judging by what they say. You do not know, mm. but in the case of Jesus. We just, you know, the Quran says that Jesus, he knew the future. He can tell them even when they are hiding in their closet. He can mm. tell them, in the Bible it says it clearly, Jesus, he was reading reading their, their mind. So he said to them, he said to the person, uh, go on your sin is forgiven. The Jews, they said mm. in, in their head, they said, who is this person who is forgiven sin? Jesus can read their mind. So Jesus said to them, which one is easier to say, you go on your sin, you're forgiven, or carry your bed and walk. The person didn't walk. Which one is easier? Mm. Talk is cheap. I can say your sin is forgiven. Yeah, right, right. But not everyone can say to a person never walk in his life, or a person never see in his life, or a person is born blind, to say to him, see and he see. Walk and he walk. Mm. So Jesus is a judge, and he is the absolute just and yeah. he is going to judge the world and if mm. jesus is the judge of the world and he will be just then who is god right that must be jesus mm. the muslim they say we don't accept jesus to be god because he's a man but as you see jesus mm. the man Still, he do what God can do. He forgives sin. He has mm. resurrected the dead. He create creation. He, he gave eyes to the blind man. He gave limp mm. to the one who cannot walk. Because his limbs is not working. That's it. This is a new creation. A person who cannot mm. walk, what does that mean? His limbs is damaged. His legs is damaged, right? His nerves is damaged. Right. So when I say mm. to him, walk, I just recreate the whole system the nerves, the vein, the the vine, the the the, the 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 muscles, everything by one command. Carry your bed and walk. That is right. Jesus. So, my friend, I invite you right now to accept the Messiah as your Lord, as your Savior. Mm -hmm. I just I just have one question before that about the Bible. All right. Okay, uh, and uh, it's not about the New Testament. Uh, it's about the Old Testament. Okay. Uh, I mean, in the New Testament, uh, when you read, uh, you notice that God is love and merciful and all that, and uh, and uh, and I love that. It makes sense, and we are the children of God, and all of the, all of that. But in the Old Testament, um, like uh, God is more angry you know okay. he punishes a lot he's uh, there is a lot of punishments and a lot of uh, right. hard words see my, my friend it's not about what i like what i don't like god yeah. god he created us and he expected us to share his love with him human being mm -hmm. he decided to deny god we have something called atheist right right they make fun of those who believe in God, which means they make fun of God. There is mm. people who worship idols, correct? Correct. But he created them to know mm. him. 
what they do? They start worshipping toys. Yeah. There is people who they are Muslims, they go kiss stones, bow around the stones, mm. and believe the stone is the right hand of God. But God's hand is not a stone, and he do not need Kaaba, and they are worshipping their own God. Mm. We know from the Old Testament the story of Noah and the flood, correct? Yes. So when we see in the New Testament that God is loving, nothing changed. God in the Old Testament, he tried his best to bring us to him. We refuse. He punish us. Mm. We refuse again. He punish us. So God mm. love does not mean that God cannot punish. You yeah. deserve, if you deserve the punishment, then why you can complain? You cannot. The, uh, to make mm. it simple for you, let us say I'm a firefighter. And I mm. come to your house and I knock at the door. I said, your house in fire. Mm. Please come with me. You mm. say you are stupid. Where is the fire? I don't see it. Mm. Get out of here. And then the fire came and the fire burned you alive. Is that the fault of the firefighter or your fault because you refused to listen? No, it's my fault in that case. So here the fire is not a punishment from God. The fire is a punishment from yourself. For you did that yourself. So the Bible teaches us that you harvest what you seed. Mm. So if you seed good, you harvest good. See, we were talking about Jesus as just, right? Right. Okay. Just mean that the one who commit a crime, he pay for it. Yeah. The Muslim they say, well, if this is the logic of the Christians, then why Jesus, he died for our sin? And I'm sure you heard that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Jesus died for our sin not because he deserved. Nobody said that mm. Jesus deserved to die. Jesus, mm. he came to save us. And we decide to kill Jesus. Mm. Jesus did not call us and say hey please kill me because i have a movie i'm going to make in the movie i come to you and you shoot me no this is what had happened jesus uh -huh. came with his love to save us and we decided to kill him and to reject him so uh -huh. when we say jesus died for our sin it ha that have many meaning because of our sin he is here if if we did not sin he did not need to come to save us do you save someone That's do you save someone he is not a drowning from drowning? No, you save someone is drowning. Uh. So the reason the Savior came to us is because of we fail and we need a Savior. So when we uh. say that Jesus died because of our sin, the Muslim, they give false interpretation. They say, oh, the Christian believe Jesus died for their sins, so now they can sin as they much they wish. But we have tons of verses in the Bible saying it clearly. That sinners, mm. criminals, thieves, evildoers, homosexual, drunken, even drunken, those who go drink and they get drunk, those they don't enter the heaven. Mm. So if I say to you, I am the owner of this house. When you come to my house, you take off your shoes. Mm. Why? Because they are dirty. But you decide yeah. to bring the dirt in your shoes with you to inside my house. Do I have mm -hmm. the right to kick you out? Yes, you have. This is what God is doing. Mm -hmm. So the Bible, the Old Testament God, is the same as the New Testament God. Mm -hmm. For God, He loved the world. He sent His only begotten Son to save them. Yeah. But what you expect from God at the end of the day to do? I mm. sent my only begotten son to save you. What you do? You slaughter him. So I say to you, my friend, that God in the Old Testament, he punished, but God in the New Testament is going to be punished, is going to punish a human being even way more. For when the mm. day of judgment happened, 
the punishment will be way more severe. People say not so nothing yet. When the uh, Messiah come in the day of judgment, he will not come the same as he was first time, giving us hugs uh, and saying, come to me and I will comfort you. Believe in me, knock at my door. No, no, Jesus will not do that no more. Jesus will come as a ruler. Uh, and he will destroy his enemies. Who is the enemies? Those who they are enemy to their own. Those who made uh, fun of him because they decide to become enemy. Uh, so if you do a crime against yourself, why you blame me? I gave you warning. I send you prophets. Uh, I gave you books. I made miracles uh, to make you believe. You see, the miracle of God is done what? For what reason? To uh, its proof. To prove exactly. So all those things I did for you, to save you, just to make you listen to me, take attention, look what I can do. I am the one and the only one who can save you. And still you love, you make fun mm. of me, and you make yeah. mockery of me, or you make mockery of those who follow me. So why mm. God will not do punish them? So God, my friend, he is loving, but God don't love mm. the wicked. God yeah. don't love the wicked. So what is mm. your what is the problem? It's not because God don't love you. No, no, no. Mm. God don't love your wickedness. So your wickedness is your enemy, not God. Mm. Stay away from wickedness. God is with you. You decide to right. go with wickedness. Well, you took the other side of God, the side of Satan. The side of darkness mm. so it is not different God is the same God but every stage have a reason and Jesus came to us as a final stage final effort from God himself to save you so either you accept and not only accept you see we Christian we don't believe by saying Shahada we are saved mm. we don't Okay. Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. Uh. So you can say Shahada from now until next century, saying Jesus is my Lord. Uh. Well, you are not saved. Right. Because saying a statement is different from doing the statement. In Christianity, mm. we don't believe in hypocrisy. In Christianity, mm. we believe in faith, which is a true faith, not a statement, not shahada. So mm. when Jesus says, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of, of heaven or the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will, he is making it so clear that repeating words and prayer does not make you a believer in Jesus. But uh -huh. doing the will of the Father, and what is the will of the Father? You shall not lie, you shall not kill, you shall not fornicate, you shall not murder, you shall not uh, uh, steal, you shall not, you shall not, you shall not. So uh -huh. you shall not. And those who do the opposite of the will of the Father, believing in the Son. Uh -huh. This is number one, but you don't stop. Believing in the Son, that means you follow and you obey God. So if you believe in the Son and you say, I'm a Christian, hey, I'm a Christian prince, I accept Jesus right now, but tomorrow I'm going to fornicate. Today uh. I'm going to steal. I'm going to sell drugs. I'm going to make a, a business like Andrew Tate and make a, a, a pimp. How that make <laughs> you a Christian? How that make you a... So a Christian in Christianity is not wearing a cross, is not calling yourself a Christian, is not mm. claiming to be Christian, is not even going to the church. Mm. Jesus and hypocrisy is the enemy of each other. That's why Jesus says when you pray, you go to your closet. Don't be like those hypocrites who pray in the corners, speaking mm. as if he's speaking about the Muslims today. A Muslim, he want to pray, he put his rag in the top of the car or in the corner 
of a street, mm. so or they go to the park, so everybody can see them. It's a show time. Mm. Jesus, he forbid <laughs> us from that. So, yeah, yeah. God of the Old Testament is the same as the God of the New Testament, and mm. God have a limit of mm. of time for mm. how long he will give his creatures time to live and to accept and to join him if people refuse then i say my friend god is loving yes but hellfire is true so do you think the one mm. who will love you very much is going to mm. burn you very much yeah he will burn you very much because you burned yourself mm. yeah i understand so 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 the god of the old testament is no different mm. the bible says the messiah was the same as today and as in the future no change god never change mm. right. his, his justice always will be justice and mm. everyone he will get what he deserves so mm. there's no different, but but because the stage Jesus now is coming in a mercy, in love, humbling himself, accept me, follow me, believe in me. But then when Jesus comes down second time, mm. he will be the same person, yes. But mm. Jesus, the one which people knew, making his speeches about love, mercy. Uh, harmony uh, give that Jesus is not going to be the same as command mm. for now the time the time will come for judgment it's time to pay mm. for what we did and what we accomplished right so there's no different and there's mm. no change I hope mm. I I was able to explain it to you, but you know, uh, uh, many, many, you know, uh, uh, many people they, falsely they claim that Jesus uh, he they they try to make Jesus like a hippie, you know, he give hugs to everybody in the street, and he have a <laughs> he have like a ring in his ear, and he was giving hugs. No, Jesus, listen to Jesus. Jesus, he said it clearly what he would do. Jesus yeah, yeah. said he will come with the glory of his angels. And he will command them and he will say, bring them in front of me and slay them. Mm. So Jesus, the merciful, the same merciful loving person is the same one who will send people to hell. Mm. For justice must be done. The rapist he will pay. The killer he mm. will pay. The child molester he will pay. It's not yeah. only you go to jail today. No, no, no. The judgment of the Lord is going to done to be done to those criminals. Mm. Everybody have to pay for what he have done. So when the Messiah comes oh. second time, the Messiah will come with the glory of the King of the Kings, and the commands mm. will be given to his angels. And then the Bible describe how, I mean, if I describe for you how the 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 the, the sound of the people, how the hell people will go through. What kind of sadness, what kind of chaos they will go through. Then you will see mm. how scary it is. And then you will say, well, where is the God who was loving? What happened? How does God turn to be now something different? Well, nothing changed. He told you from the first day, if you don't, you'll get this. And you choose this. Mm. So it was your choice, not his choice. In yeah. Arabic, and you speak Arabic. There's a there's a there's a parable in Arabic. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you know it. There's two guys. They are crossing the river. Yeah. And in the old days, you know, they use this. Uh, you know, I don't know if you know the villagers. They make it from the uh, from leather. They make a container for uh, water, right? Yeah, yeah. And they and they tie it up. The same container. They can use it to swim. So they blow air in it. You know. And then they tie it up, and then they cross the river. So there's two guys. Yeah. They tie each one of them, one of those containers. They blow air in it. They tie it up. And then when they arrive in the middle of the river, one of them 
the container he used from leather start leaking air. Mm. Start screaming, saying, help me, help me. The other guy, he said to him, it was your mouth who blow it and your hand who tied it up. Right. So what does that mean? It was your fault. Your hand they tied it up and your mouth is the one who blow it. So now if it is leaking, well, I can't save you. Yeah. You did not you did not take it seriously. You did not take saving your life seriously. You did not tie yeah. it right, even though you know that you might die if you did not do it right. Still, you did mm. not do it right, and because it is your hand work and your mouth work, now you drown. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, I... that does make sense. Uh, I mean, you should be punished for your doings. In the afterlife, I, I agree. Well, I hope I answered you about this. Mm. Uh, do you have any other question about the Messiah? Um, I think one last point on the, on this on this uh, question or on this uh, topic is uh, God. I agree, God. He does uh, what he uh, wants, and I I'm not I'm I'm not I'm in no position to like say anything about that it's not that it's just uh in christianity i assume you also have like free will yeah sure you see uh, if there's no free will there's no god right because uh, if, uh, because if god is justice and there's no free will then god is not justice then mm. you know if i have no free will to commit sin or not to commit sin mm. what oh, who gave the right to God to punish me if he is just you know this is not this is not fair to punish me and I have no free will to be sinner or not right yeah I understand that completely okay uh, the thing is um, so if you punish people on this earth uh, like uh, a divine punishment uh, let, let's say like in the case of Noah, Noah uh -huh. and uh, yeah so you punish them here. Uh, will God punish uh, this, these people in the afterlife too? You see, first of all, this is not really a punishment, and I will explain it to you. When God mm. He gave me life, mm. God said to Adam, "You death, you die, you die." So mm. he, this is not a punishment. This is I took from you what I gave you. You don't own it. Yeah. So right. I gave you life, I take life back. This is not mm. the punishment. The punishment is later. Mm. Death is not really a punishment. The the uh, 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 We die because we commit sin. So now it became a punishment. But the real punishment is not now. The real punishment is in the day of judgment. So the punishment mm. of sin is death, the Bible says. But the death the Bible mm. is speaking about is not dying now, just only. But there's the death, you die, your death will be as living for eternity in hell. That is the death. The death is when your soul is destroyed. Jesus said, don't be afraid of those who destroy the flesh, but those who destroy your soul. So right. that is the death we are talking about. Otherwise, the death we are talking about now, like we, I will die, Adam die, you will die. Well, Christians, they believe in Jesus, they die too. But now, because we don't mm. live in heaven, that was the punishment of Adam. Mm. He said to him, after he was kicked out of heaven, you die. Death, you die. Mm. This is your, you know, this is what will happen to you. Because now you don't live in heaven. Eternity is taken away from you. However, mm. still the penalty is not death. In fact, mm. many they will wish that the penalty is just death. Because I can go rape, kill, steal, and okay, I will die, and it's over. Mm. If this is the case, that you know, that means all the thieves they get away, all the criminals get away with their with their with their crimes. God will right. do justice. 
So the penalty will not be now, the penalty will be later. Mm. Death is just hello. It's like the start of, uh, let us say, of, of uh, 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 let us say, we close your file. Your file mm. is closed. So now, yeah. after we close your file, you cannot accomplish anything more, and now your file will be taken to the judge, mm. and the judge will open your file and see what you what you have done. So the death mm. in, uh, for our, our life right now is just to close the file so you can fix your life before you die, not after you die. Yeah, yeah, so let yeah. us say the death is the life and the death, the day you're born, the day you die, is that is is mm. the is the time God gave you mm. to do something. Something mm. will make you deserve to go back and live in heaven. Yeah. Or to do the opposite, to be someone who don't deserve to be in heaven. It's your choice. Mm. So in in, in uh, the Bible make it clear that death is a penalty of sin. However, Still, this is not really the penalty human being is going to face. It the real penalty is is the day of judgment. Mm. For all saints, they die too. Saints, those who follow Jesus, who love Jesus, who the murder, they they die for Jesus. Still, they die. Jesus Himself yeah, yeah. died. So yes, the real death is is when you have no mercy from God no more. Mm. Otherwise, this. For a believer, Jesus said, whoever believe in me and die, he will live. So mm. death, death is not necessarily a punishment for a believer. It, in fact, it's a mercy, especially you get older and you are, and especially like if, if I am now 20 years old and I cannot even open my mouth and I mm. am in pain, my body in pain, etc. So then I will wish death every day. Death is a mercy. Yeah. Mm. And is a mercy for mankind. Imagine if we have uh, six billions multiplying every year. Uh. Six billions or seven billions. The uh. earth will be overpopulated. I mean, now we are eating each other alive. What we would do if we became tr trillions? Yeah, that would be a disaster. So death <laughs> is a mercy. Is not really a penalty. The, the real penalty is, is when the day of judgment will come. And then you can search, there's tons of verses about the Day of Judgment, speaking of that, and you will see that day is really, really, I mean, it is hell. I cannot describe it more than this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. So I invite you to mm. accept the Messiah as your Savior, because, mm. my friend, you might go to sleep and you don't wake up tomorrow. Can mm. you guarantee that you will live until tomorrow? No, I cannot too. So for mm. me, as a believer, I go, I close my eyes. I don't care if I live, I don't live. For the Lord mm. is my Savior, and He promised me, whoever believe in me. And when I say whoever believe in me, is not someone who says Shahada, it's someone who go and follow me. And as you see, I do my best to follow the Lord. I do my best to bring people to Him. I spend, guys, how many hours today I'm with you? Just today. How many hours in the last 24 hours? So we designate lifetime to bring people to Christ and to save the Muslims. Yeah, yeah. But that is not because I am good. No. Mm. But because I am following the Messiah and I'm trying my best to do something right. But I say to mm. you, in no mean I can claim to be good. For only God is good, said the Lord. Mm. One person said to Jesus, You are good. Jesus said to him, Why you call me good? Don't you know that only God is good? The Muslim, mm. they say, Well, Jesus, he just said, Only God is good. Why you call me good? No. Jesus saying, Why you are calling me good? Don't you know that only God is good? Because Jesus, he said too, I am the good shepherd. And I know my sheep, and my sheep they knew me. So Jesus, yeah. he proclaimed his title. I am the good shepherd. Shepherd of what? Of the world, of mankind. So Jesus, yeah. he announced tons of time that he is good and God is good. 
So I, my friend, I invite you to believe in the good God, and that is the Lord, the Messiah, our Savior. Yeah, I, I accept. I, I mean accept that. Anything. Well, I'm I'm really happy for you, my friend. Uh, we Thank pray you. we pray to the Lord that our friend here, who just left Islam and accept the Messiah, that he will follow the Lord. And he will be a child of God by heart, by mean, by doing, by living, by saying, by 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 following, not by saying saying words. And I remind you, my friend, no hypocrisy yes. with Jesus. You cannot fool the Lord. Not everyone mm. says to me, the Lord said. Not everyone mm. says to me. If you go to Matthew, chapter chapter seven, he said, not mm. everyone. Who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So I remind you, my yeah. friend, you can say Jesus, Lord, Lord. But if you don't belong to him, you will not enter the heaven. And how you belong to him? By doing his will. So stay away no. from the act of Islam. No mm. idols. No, no hate. No violence. Mm. No lying. No fornicating, no muta, no stealing, no cheating. Don't wish a woman she is the wife of somebody else. Follow the Lord, and the Lord will be your guardian. Mm. You understand? Thank you very much for joining Thank us. Thank you so much. And happy to know you, and we pray. And I, I ask all the Christians here to pray for our brother here. We do not know his real name. It's not important. But uh, the important is that the Lord, He knew you. He know who you are. He know your name. And you are now, from today, a child of God. Thank you so much, Shibi. You're welcome. And don't forget to read the Bible and read more and understand. We in Christianity, we don't want people to be just Christians by name. You should know the Lord's words, for this is the mm -hmm. guideline of your life. It's not a Christian prince. The Bible is the guideline. Yeah. It's not any man. Yeah, it's easy to get a Bible here in the in the West, you know. Yeah, it's so easy, and you the Bible online. I mean, you can read the Bible mm. on your phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, brother. Thank you very much for joining us. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> <coughs> So you see, you see someone like this guy is Nico. He does not know what Islam is about. He's just a fool. He does not know what Christianity is about. I mean, if you watch this video, you would die laughing about the stupidity of this man. And yet he claimed that Islam is a religion of God. He doesn't even know who is his God. His God require him, a Latino boy, to pray to him in Arabic. I mean, do you see what kind of God we are talking about? An Arab God. God who forced you to pray to him in a certain language is not God. For God understands all languages. God, in fact, he understands the mute who have no language. Do a mute person need to speak so the Lord can hear him? No. Islam is a religion of the foolish. And I say, and I challenge anyone to prove me wrong, only foolish people believe, and pervert, you have to be a pervert. Because if you know that the God, he promised you endless penis and a lot of women waiting for you for sex. And then you say to me that this is God. Well, I say to you, this is a pimp and you are a pervert. You did not believe in God because he is good. You believed in this God because he is a pervert. He is a pimp and he tempted you with sexual pleasure. In fact, this is one of the clear proofs that Allah is the devil. What kind of God, he says, if you believe in me, I will give you naked women. Unlimited number. 
The lowest number is 72 for the lowest Muslim. 80,000 boys, that is disgusting, even slavery in heaven. What kind of God he tempt me by penis and vagina and food and gold and silver? Why actually I should be in heaven if I accepted Allah after he promised me gold and silver and sex and women? I should be rewarded if I accepted God without any of those promises. If I believe that God deserved to be worshipped, then regardless of what is in heaven, I will believe. So why Allah saying, if you believe in me, you will get this? Obviously this God, he have no ability to make me convinced but he have ability to make me be tempted. And that is the devil. This God, he will take you to heaven if you go and kill. If you slaughter a human being. The God of the Christians, he died to save you. The God of Muslims want you and your sons to die to make him happy. He's a bloodthirsty. That is the devil. The father of all lies. Peace is his enemy. The Muslims, they stole from the Old Testament and the New Testament the word peace. Salam. What, where is peace in Islam? That is a good question. They say, Assalamu Alaikum. But you will not find peace in a single house in Muslim countries. Even Muhammad's the children, they've been slaughtered and killed. Even Muhammad, Muslim accused Aisha and Hafsa, they poison him and kill him. Even the Caliphate, one after one, they've been killed by Muslims. By Muslims. Aisha herself, she killed 10,000 Muslims. Aisha herself, she took an army to kill Ali and his sons and his family. The one who preserved the Quran according to Muslim is Uthman. They killed him. They cut his head. They took the hair from his beard one by one. They refused to bury him with Muslims. A religion of gang and crimes and criminals. The Lord said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Aren't you convinced yet that Islam is of the devil and the fruit of the devil is all over the place? Aren't you? Isn't it obvious? I will not keep you longer. My voice is getting tired. If you notice, I am speaking for many, many hours. So I want to say thank you all for being here. I better go before I lose my voice totally. And if I could come tomorrow, I will be happy to be with you again. We pray to the Lord that he give us the ability and the knowledge and the wisdom to use our tongue and our mouth so we can speak the truth and share it and bring more people to him. Islam is my enemy because the devil is my enemy. And Muslims, they choose to be my enemy. I did not choose that. I don't want them to be my enemy. But this is what happened when you follow the wicked Satan, the wicked Muhammad. You hate, you want to kill, you want to slaughter. You cannot live in peace. And those who don't have peace in their heart, they are already walking dead. 
So I believe that Muslims, when they follow Muhammad, they are zombie on this earth. They have no mercy in their heart. For hatred, aid the mercy. Destroy their soul, and they become zombie. This is why we saw what ISIS was doing. We saw what Al-Qaeda is doing. We see what they do to each other. We see what they did in October 7 when they attacked the Jews, women, children. They raped them. Even though we are in the year 2024. But do the devil change? Never. His joy is blood. His drink is blood. His festival is red color. And his followers are the followers of Muhammad. And I say to them, repent before the Messiah come back. Otherwise, the price will be high. And you will pay. You will pay. For God is just. And no crime will go without being punished. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. God.